that uh, I've heard uh, from people in the Pentagon that the buzzword in the, in the secret of secrets in the Pentagon is uh, the Sumerian gods are returning. And that's what they're referring to is that whole area uh, uh, that uh, Peter's Wow. Can you repeat that again just in case anybody missed it? The well, buzzword uh, in... In the Pentagon, in the, you know, the military circles that are in the know about the cover-up here, um, the, they kind of, in whisper tones, talk about the return of the Sumerian gods. And they're talking about the uh, what we would call aliens or fallen angels returning uh, into the Middle East, uh, into old Sumer area. The Anunnaki. Okay. At that time, I didn't know. What do you so think? We now? have been in touch with the Anunnaki. Okay. And are you aware of the Clark McClelland um, sort of testimony that talks about you know this very very tall spaceman? That's. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. So that, that was an Anunnaki, right? Say again? That was an Anunnaki. That was supposedly Clark McClellan always said that he saw this uh, very large, tall being instructing a couple of our astronauts on television screen. Mm-hmm. That was, that was well, his Well, if the beings he's talking of were almost like black Africans, yeah. I've there is one image there that shows black people getting on. So people with dark skin getting off. Dark, black. Black skin. Black. Were they tall? Very tall. How tall? Do you know? No, they got off the uh or what? Safe, safe. Seven seven feet would be. Long before the craft began appearing over his backyard. This amazing video footage shows a glowing disc approximately nine feet in diameter hovering just feet from his house. In a blink of an eye, the craft disappears. Once the footage is slowed down, we can clearly see the craft dematerialized frame by frame. You want me to prove you that they exist? I took hundreds of them to the mountains and said, now watch, they're going to come from that direction. And I called them and they came and they hold it above them. They saw it with their own eyes. I told them what to chant and they chanted and the ship came close, being light, and took off. I said, that those people are waiting to take you. Wow, that is crazy, man. What do you think? Whoa. Apocalyptic transformation, the desert of Saudi Arabia becomes a river after heavy, heavy rains. You can see here the camels are just fine when the rain is beginning, but they are worried. You know, animals can, I think they can detect when it is about to go or wild, something like that. Now, this is a few moments later. Man, Guy, 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 where did all this water come from? You mean this place is this flat? Yo, guys, this is so unbelievable. I don't even know what to say. Now the comments, where are the comments, man? Yo, what's up with the world, man? What's happening? Yo, she. Man, this is crazy. You can see what this desert just... Oh, my God. Yes, I'm glad that you caught that information because I kind of just wanted to sneak it in there. Of course, you know, they've all admitted now that extraterrestrials do exist and are working with us. Of course, the defunct cabal has made it seem like they're nefarious and bad and here to hurt us but it's quite the opposite and we can thank them for the quantum financial system and for the med beds as you stated this is a wonderful wonderful partnership and connection and we should all be very thankful and realize that the extraterrestrials do not look much different than us there are some that do but um, that we all come from the same center unity consciousness 
uh, divine source, and uh, we are all going to benefit greatly from this. And we are becoming a galactic. We're going to be part of the galac galactic race or humanity. We're going to be part of it. Earth has been shut off from all of that. And uh, now in the next little bit, we're going to slowly go into interacting and be able to have space travel and all that. It's an exciting time to be alive and I'm super happy that you caught that information and you know about it. So spread the word. It's an exciting time to be alive and we should all be uh, looking forward to all of these fun, interesting, jaw-dropping changes that are about to occur in all of our lives. Hmm, do you agree or disagree with that woman? Now here we see another creature here. What is this creature? Looking like, uh, is this a person putting on? No. This looks um, like dark uh, Bigfoot. Is this Bigfoot? My God. Why is he gray? Which color is this? Why are results like this man? His long nails. Oh my God. Is it even a his or a foe? Oh, how can you do? Yo, you guys, how can you know how Bigfoot gendered? Whoa, whoa. Why is it? Why is its face? This looks like a white man putting on a mask or a... Yo, you see the face there? It's like there, the face is like... The face is back or it's moving backward like that guy's putting on a helmet. Is it a guy putting on a mask? English people, please tell us. What is that? Bigfoot or not Bigfoot? Please tell me what your thoughts about it. I'd like also to understand. Huh. Now this is the disc-shaped flying object. But now it's not flying. It has just landed or it just landed some few years ago or who knows when. Does it sound familiar? I think it does because we have been seeing videos here of these things. And these things we have known, we have almost come to a conclusion that they may either be real or not real. But you can help in understanding or identify whether they are real or not real. You know, we have now seen that maybe governments have crazy technology that we don't know about. And they can be just playing games here. Or it is real. They have played too much games until we cannot believe. Is that the story of the fox? It can relate to the government because now this one looks creepy, but it's like we cannot believe. But you tell me what you think. When reports of boys who went missing stalked by killer on video May 25th, 2023. Dun, dun, dun. Now look at this killer. Do you chew the heck? Man, this guy just came here dressed in a mask, walking funny funny. You see this funny walking stain? This is a dead walking stain. Man, guy is chasing another one to kill you. Why would someone do this just because of lack of love? This guy is nuts or something like that. Oh my god. Well, is that really? Can you name a city in Africa? What? Name a city in Africa. They're hungry. Do you think they're thinking about what <laughs> cities oh, yeah. they're going to have? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, she. The main English people are that hungry. Please stop me and get some food. In the city of Krugerstorp, South Africa, a mysterious video was filmed by a real estate agent who was touring a property for sale. It isn't known if the house in this video has been sold yet, but considering what happens in this clip, it may just be that no one will be buying this house anytime soon. Apparently, something very freaky was caught on camera. Take a look.
After watching the video, the real estate agent was shocked to see that someone was in the house. They don't recall ever seeing anyone else inside, but apparently, based on the footage, someone was there. Or, so it seems. Looking at the video again, it appears that whoever this was just suddenly disappears. As quickly as they appear, they vanish without a sign. Although it's unknown what the agent thinks, viewers believe that something paranormal was caught on camera. But of course, I'll leave it to you to decide if that's so. Just who or what was inside this house? Man, there's always something creepy with these rental houses, man. What, what happens there? And you know, at times it takes me a while to load information, especially if it's a, low, a lot of information that is surprising. Uh, there is a video that has passed with English people, women there, that have been asked cities in Africa. And they have said that we are too hungry, we cannot even have time to name cities. Do you know how offending that is? Here we have a technology you cannot even imagine. They were kind of type technology. You, can, you should even come here and learn some things that you don't know. Well, that is very bad. People should spread love instead of bad mouthing other people. Why could someone say you don't have cities? What are you cities? Of all things. Yeah, no, that's not cool. We have them. Yo, man, watch till the end. Don't say such thing. This is in Zion, China. There are 2,000 fully restored soldiers made of terracotta clay and 3% sticky rice. There are still 6,000 buried under the collapsed temple. All of the restoration has taken archaeologists 45 years so far. Every warrior has a different face because the emperor who made them killed his father at the age of 23 and hired over 8,000 artists from all over China to build the stone army. He killed everyone that made a terracotta warrior to keep the tomb secret. All of them are perfectly uniform with different faces except for there's one terracotta warrior that's super strange. Check it out. To this day, nobody has been able to explain the length of his arms and torso. Could be an alien. What do you think? Done. Oh, that video that has passed, what do you think about that guy that did that? Made people to build statues and kill them. A sadist, what type of guy could that be? Hmm. And as he was about him, there is also now another tunnel here that looks very, very creepy. Creepy, like ultra pro max creepy. Man, these are very long tunnels. Creepy because of how long it is. Look at how long it is. Just going, going, going. No way. Man, do you have such tunnels in your country where you can just go? You know here we don't have such. Here is forest, vegetation. You walk here, you see monkey, such things. But no, this such tunnel, no. Wow, wow, wow. The person that built it, what was uh, at the back of his mind? Would Please guess, you guess and tell us in the comment section. Oh, oh, would you go through such a tunnel at night? Myself, I wouldn't dare. Please tell me if you would. You know, some people, we have, because of this guy and a person like you who can go out there, we get to see such videos. Because if the people would depend on me to go to scary places, there could be no such videos. Because I'm all about good vibes, yeah, and love, so scary things, say, oh man, that's bad energy to me in some ways. But no, this is not scary. Sometimes you get to learn a lot of things with this video. Like the people who are creative here to be such low tunnels that could scare people like me, but could be fascinating to them. You don't know. You know, some people have such rights through the forest. Yo, people have different hobbies, man. Scary hobbies. Yo, but this is a really long driveway through a tunnel. In a forest. Oh, my God. That's just like the icing of the cake in a forest. Crazy. Share your thoughts about it, man. 
you know, I think that was the last video and it has been a pleasure being with you up to this far. And just to close, man, do I look hungry in any way? Please look at me closely. That was not good. Thank you for watching. Much, much, much love from this side. Keep it tuned for another fire episode. We out, man.